Murder, as per Section 302 of the Indian Penal Code, IPC, can lead to imprisonment for a term that may extend from 7 to 10 years or even a life sentence. In cases of rape, the punishment can range from imprisonment to life or even the death penalty. In instances of group rape, severe penalties apply, and escaping capital punishment might be difficult. Bail availability depends on various factors, such as the severity of the crime, the evidence presented, and the specific circumstances of the case. For instance, bail might be granted if someone unintentionally commits a crime and can prove their innocence. Certainly, when it comes to murder cases involving multiple individuals, their level of involvement can affect their legal responsibility. If someone has played a role in a murder, they would be considered a participant to the extent of their involvement. However, the specific legal consequences can depend on various factors and the laws of the jurisdiction. Regarding bail, individuals might be granted bail under certain circumstances, which can vary based on the severity of the crime, the evidence presented, and the individual's background. If a murder involves more than one person, the likelihood of facing severe punishment, such as the death penalty, could increase. The legal system takes into account the level of participation and the evidence against each person. When it comes to defending oneself in court, showing that actions were taken in self-defense can potentially lead to a lesser sentence. Providing proof that there was no intention to harm and that the actions were taken to protect oneself or others could influence the outcome of the case. For instance, if someone enters another person's home with a weapon, the person inside the home might have the right to use force to defend themselves.